Happy 50th birthday, Omnibus. This is Tony Fletcher. I'm proud to say I've written books uh, for the company for on and off, of course, for some 35 of these 50 years. Whoever knew it would go on that long when I first wrote a book on Echo and the Bunny Men for Chris Charlesworth back in 1986. Uh, subsequently written uh, biographies on R.E.M. and Keith Moon, a short book on The Clash, a history of the New York City music scene, and most recently, a compendium of my fanzine, The Best of Jamming. But I am not here to tell you about those. I'm here to tell you my favourite um, omnibus book for now. I have a bookshelf like groaning with uh, uh, odd biographies and other books that are published by Omnibus. They're all, all of them have their merits. Uh, but I'm going to hone in on something pretty recent. It's Don Lett's book, There and Black Again, uh, co-written with Mal Peachy, who I'm sure deserves his credit on the cover for such a good book. I had a particular fascination here. I've always um, been been personally uh, sort of fascinated by the fact that Don Letts went to the same school as me, Archbishop Tennyson's grammar school in Kennington Oval. And given that when I went there after Don had been through and left, the school was still 95% white at the very least. I've often imagined what it was like for somebody like Don. And uh, that's what the, the great part about this book is. The great aspect of this book is that he writes about being a black person uh, of Caribbean uh, heritage, Jamaican heritage in in a, uh, a, a, a Great Britain, a supposedly Great Britain, um, dealing with uh, the, this uh, immigration and often not dealing with it very well. And I found his insights uh, really important. Um, the neighborhoods I know well, obviously I know the school well enough. And uh, Don being older than me, his background, his involvement in the punk scene you know, completely predates my ability to ever attend any of these venues, but that's all the more reason to enjoy the book. It feels like I'm uh, reading along in the kind of footsteps of somebody who lived, uh, continues to live a truly fascinating life. Don, in case you don't know, um, was also a documentarian video maker for The Clash, made hundreds of other vid pop videos, rock videos, dance videos, uh, became a member of Big Audio Dynamite at Mick Jones' suggestion, uh, has been involved in other music, Basement 5, I remember seeing them open for Public Image years back, and uh, he details all of this. He doesn't pull any punches on some of the people he's met along the way. He does not pull any punches on the music business, on the racism of the music business, of government, of culture. There's lots of lots of popular culture in here. Fascinating section when he goes to Jamaica with John Lydon in, I guess, 1978, 79 to sign reggae artists. On the subject of which, on the back cover, you can see him here hanging out with uh, an inquisitive and maybe possibly quite impressed Bob Marley who might be figuring, who is this young kid who talked his way backstage and back to my hotel room, this being 1975, uh, after Marley famously played the Lyceum. That says something for Don Lett's sort of self-confidence. Uh, throughout this book, he manages to walk a sort of twin life as a uh, sort of proud black person in a black world and as a proud black person in a white world uh, in which he's very comfortable with the you know, punk rock, with the music, with, with all of that too. Makes for a fascinating read because it's brand new and recent. It's right up to date and I highly recommend it. Uh, credit to everybody involved in this book. Uh, here's hoping that my bookshelves continue to grow with Omnibus books over the years. Uh, pleasure to always be doing business with you and creative stuff with you. Happy 50th.